Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Boot Camp Day 2. If you missed us meeting the contestants yesterday, click here so you can see them. What's today's task, Sam? Okay, today's challenge. We all know how important it is when you're on YouTube to be really good at vlogging. Now we've got somebody to come and help us judge this, haven't we? We have a very special guest. Yes. Someone that's very close to our hearts. Hello ladies. Yeah, and hello ladies, you all look very nice. Having Jim come in was just incredible because he's like a vlogging king. Oh, I was just so shocked when I saw him walk through. I think I nearly fell off my chair. It's so weird seeing someone who's on a video and then in real life when they're actually 3D. So I've seen your entrance videos and they were very, very good. This is a bit harder though because you have five minutes, you're not allowed to edit and we want to see your favourite products. It's all about personality, so uh, be big. So you guys, you're going to go off now and start your vlogging challenge. Nick and I, we're going to be watching from here. And Jim. I'm here. And Jim. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so good luck, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Doesn't her hair look amazing? Yeah, I was going to say, she's got lovely hair. Oh, it's amazing. Hi, guys. So today I am going to be showing you some of the products that I have been loving recently. So I've got quite a few here, so I'm just going to oh, She's cute, isn't yeah. she? She's beautiful, isn't she? The first one is the Vichy Derma Blend, and mine is in the shade Opal, because that's the lightest one that they have. <laughs> and I love this. You, you don't need um, that much of it at all. Um, just like a little bit on your finger and then product nice. around your face. And it gives you a really glowy complexion, which I love because I have dry skin, so... Yeah, i really loving that. You can see she's a little bit nervous, yeah. but... Really she's 16. Well, is, is she? Oh, bless her. She's very the smiley, it's nice, mm. is a lipstick. Now, I'm such a huge lipstick fan, and um, this one is from Topshop. Um, I picked this up quite recently. I'm liking the Topshop ones too, really. It's, like this. it's a bit worse for wear, because <laughs> I've been wearing it every single day, and it's in the car. Oh, she just makes me smile. Yeah, so do you know what? Cute. I don't it's know what it is about her, but there's something that's just very like, nice like and yeah. watchable. Definitely. That's, I just find that's what suits my complexion really well. Oh, good. My grandma <laughs> bought me um, a hand um, moisturiser the other day, um, and this is from Caf Kidson, which I wouldn't have thought to go to looking for a moisturiser. And it just looks like this. My mum's been using it a lot. <laughs> and the smell, mm, it smells amazing. It smells of um, summer. I think it smells of summer. So, yeah. I like that she's referred to her it. nan and her mum, so you already feel like you know her. She also kind of, um, to start with, was quite nervous, but you can see as time goes on, she loosens up a bit and yeah. kind of starts enjoying it more. And her personality comes through. I think there's a massive market for her. I've done quite a few vlogs on my own channel, but I've never known or thought about who's going to be watching them. And to know that Jim and Pixie Wu are going to watch them was really nerve-wracking. Hi guys, today Hi. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my beauty favourites. I've tried to keep a good mix between face, lips and eyes. She's good already. I have really high hopes for her because yeah. I just think she presents herself so well. Does she do YouTube other than this? No. Talk about is this absolutely incredible magnetic lash mascara. So um, basically, for those who don't know, it's a two-step mascara system and the way it works is, step one is just your average mascara as you would normally apply it and step two are these tiny little hair fibres and what they do is they stick and they adhere to the, to the first step. And I absolutely love the fact that you can create your own fake eyelashes with them because I sometimes concentrate the fibres on my outer lashes for more of kind of like a bedroom eyes effect or sometimes... She's I great. She, that she's making me want to get mascara. She's that so is good. so like, in depth as well. So you're really in control over the look that you get with these. There's no other product like this. It's definitely worth the investment and I can't say enough good things about it. I need to go and buy that right now. Brilliant. I like the personal layer there again. Bronzer in the shade One Natural. I have had many experiences with with looking like I've just been tangoed, then so this doesn't do that for you. It will just. We're all riveted, aren't we? Mm. It's got yeah. It looks natural and still looks beautiful. She doesn't so stumble or anything these. at all. They are quite pricey, but I definitely recommend this. And finally, Amazing. it is Tanya Burr's lip gloss. Yay. In just peachy. I am so excited about Tanya's entire collection and when I first received this, I instantly thought that it reminded me of Nars Turkish Delight and I just can't recommend it enough. It's moisturising, it looks beautiful, it's not too sticky 
and I definitely think you should all give it a go. So congratulations, Tanya, on such an amazing product. Yeah. She's really nice because she's knowledgeable, but it's not yeah, like it's so too much. She, Just, it's oh, I was shaking like a oh. little oh. She did so well. I like her a lot. Yeah, she's really fantastic. Brilliant. Well done. Vlogging's not something that I've ever done before. The first time that I ever did it was for the submission for Beauty Boot Camp, so I was very nervous, but I took it in my stride and I just did the best that I could, and I actually ended up really enjoying it. Isn't she gorgeous? Mm. They all look gorgeous. I want this lighting. And today I'm gonna do a whole slash review video for you. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is this new Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, this is a makeup remover and a bit of a cleanser as well. Her I makeup looks phenomenal. It's quite a new purchase Doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so I've only been using it in like the last few days, but I am obsessed Beautiful. with this product. Yeah, she's also very handy. I like this a lot. Oh, I like that. It's engaging. The size that you get is incredible. So I've tried the Bioderma and I've also tried the L'Oreal one as well. The L'Oreal one for me was just, it left a sticky consistency on the skin once you took your makeup off and you'd go through the product. These guys are amazing. Yeah, they are. We're talking about the quantity and the texture and... ...and leaves your skin super, super soft. So yeah, I love this product. If you're somebody like me who's quite fair and you struggle to find bronzers that aren't too... She's orange, very engaging, isn't she? Like, I feel like I'm interested in something I couldn't care any less about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't care about the makeup stuff. Okay, and then the final product I want to share with you guys is this super fine liner from L'Oreal. This, um, for me, is something that I probably won't get rid of in my collection until it dies, purely because the end is so beautiful and so fine. You can get a really accurate pre precision line. Um, if you're doing like flicks and things like that, you can make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. Um, and when this dries out and runs out, uh, my favourite thing to do is dip it into like a gel pot, any gel pot. I use the Maybelline one and you can still use the, the pen because it's quite dense um, to create the same lines. Good just, tip. Instead of investing in the same product because it can dry up quite quickly. So that's everything guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've really, really loved sharing all my favourites with you and I hope that's given you some inspiration. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, See, I don't think she it. used up all the five minutes, but that's probably a good thing. Well done. Do you know what I love? I like the end bit where they're all like, when they think it's over, they go, oh. yeah. <laughs> every one of them is like, oh. And the beginning when they're just going, <laughs> I love it. It's like yeah. a behind the scenes. I'm going to leave that in my videos. When I've done a makeup tutorial, I'm going to be like, oh. Do you know what? This is going to be yeah. really tight. The three we've seen so far so have all been good. really good. I found that one quite tricky, which I didn't expect because obviously there was no editing and you had a certain amount of time to do it. So I just find that a little bit, um, I was a bit more nervous for that. But in the end, I think it went okay. Go on, girl. That red lip looks beautiful on her, don't you think? Yeah. Hi there, I'm Alini, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favourite products. I'll start with this moisturiser. It's by Garnier and it's called the Moisture Match. It's for normal to dry skin because that's my skin type. I actually got a sample of this on a magazine and I don't normally try samples. But she has a really soft, easy to listen to voice, doesn't she? Very clear and precise. It has an incredibly pleasant smell. I find it really calming, especially at night. And these are really nice and affordable from the drugstore and I would definitely recommend. Next, I have this concealer and the writing has rubbed off a bit because this is well loved and it's the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. This is incredible. It has a really creamy formula and I find that this works on both under eyes and blemishes so you don't have to be carrying around a bunch of different concealers and I have really horrible zombie-like dark circles and this does the job on making me look human and presentable for the rest of the world and oh, I cute. just really really like it. I think, Loads of good I think product information in there. On any kind of skin type and it's one of my favorite concealers. I was a bit skeptical about this because I've never really managed to work out liquid lipsticks and this is uh, one of those liquid oh, I love a liquid lipstick kind of thing. and it's just really easy to work it lasts for so long I always worry when I have a dark lip like today that it will smudge it will rub off during the day I'll end up looking like the Joker with that crazy lip liner outline and I don't have to worry about these these two together just work magically and I love it. I like the way she's sort of making two favourites into one favourite. Mm. So those are all my products. Hopefully you learned about some new makeup items you can maybe pick up 
and I hope you guys have a lovely day. See you. Ciao. Brilliant. That was so good. I don't think she kind of stumbled once. No. Either. Well, none of them have. This is tough. Makes me realise how lucky I am to be at where I am now. Yeah. Because I'm not as good as them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but now I'm sitting in this chair, so it doesn't matter. And this is, their, <laughs> this is their first one. Yeah, really good. They're impressive. I was actually really excited with this challenge. I really like doing vlogs and I feel that I've made so many videos that I feel quite comfortable around the camera, but there was still that tension of being in beauty boot camp and meeting Jim was just amazing. Last, we have Ava. Hello everyone. I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite products today, so I'll get started. The first one is my MAC Custard Chic Lipstick. Oh. And I've got it on my lips now, and it's just such a pretty colour. Um, great for the summer. I think it looks amazing on pale skin. And um, it's just really, really creamy and really beautiful. Do you know what she's eased in? Because to start with, I was like, ooh, she's a bit nervous. But we are like, what, a minute, two minutes in? She's already chilling out a bit. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Giorgio Mani. I love this. Luminous Silk Foundation and I've got this in number two. The first thing that strikes me about this foundation is it smells like PVA glue, which I think <laughs> is really, really odd, especially for a high-end foundation. Um, it doesn't have an SPF, so um, I only really wear it in the night and for flash photography and stuff like that. That's um, nice that she's giving, skin, yeah. you know, Especially honest skin, pro it pros and cons. It stay on all day, so it is just a sort of three, four hour great looking foundation and then it gets a bit wish-washy and um, I like that she's saying the length there. as well. Yeah, yeah I love that. She's very nice. The last thing I want to talk about is the Maybelline Colour Show Brocades um, nail polish <laughs> in uh, knitted gold. Um, I've got this as an accent colour on my nails now. It's really, really a tiny gold glitter and then it has like pink bigger glitter over the top and it's just so so pretty. Do you know what I quite like that she's just talking in so layman's terms. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, got absolutely. glitter with bigger glitter and I think that's nice to hear yeah, because I don't really care about you know, the scientific words. Yeah no you're absolutely right Jim like not everybody understands everything and, and to be honest you don't always want to know all, all the really technical yeah, stuff yeah, sometimes you just want to know it works it doesn't work for me. It works it stays on for this length of time mm. yeah definitely. Doing the vlogging challenge was a little bit hard just because we couldn't edit or anything and my hands are really shaking so I was holding a product like this and I was like, oh God, please stop shaking. <laughs> so what do you think then, Jim? They were all absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that because I'm on camera. I actually mean it. They were spectacular. I actually think that I couldn't even do as well no, as couldn't. them when I'm a pro. There's no, there's no way I could. <laughs> so let's, let's start yeah. with Rosie. Really cute. I mean, she's young and she's sweet. Uh, she's very pretty. A little bit nervous to start with, but she soon got into it. She also kind of had the personal aspect with her family members. She talked about. Um, I think she was really great. Really great. And Rapinda. Amazing. She knows everything. She's yeah. she to me is like the smartest person in the world yeah, right she now. Yeah, really really. Like she was so confident. She didn't mumble. She didn't stumble. The whole thing was concise and clear and kind of done in, in such a way that it was really um, watchable. You know, she was engaging and, and endearing, but not sort of kind of boring in a way, you know? Mm. What about Poppy? Again, really good. Um, I feel like she maybe has a little more to go just because I think she kind of fits in markets that's already quite full. Do you know what I mean? There's already a lot yeah. of competition there. Um, so she has been really, really exceptional to stand out. And she's definitely on the way there. Um, she was terrific, again, clear and concise, didn't mumble or stumble, got everything across really well um, without kind of all the naff, mm. you know, chat, chit chat. Yeah, um, everything she said was relevant. It was. Rather than filling. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. And I think in, even in a market like this where it's really saturated, she could do really well. Yeah. yeah. And Alini. She sounds amazing, doesn't she? Yeah. Like her accent is incredible. She um, is very cute and um, kind of a bit quiet and yeah. you know, it's nice to watch, nice and mellow. Yeah, it was like she was mm. singing the whole way through it. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. was like really a beautiful Melodic. song to listen yeah. to. Yeah, I think you could watch her when you want to just chill out and you know, know about makeup stuff. So again, really good. Okay, and last, Ava. Very good, again. Um, I liked her that, like I say, she didn't kind of use big 
words that confuse me because I haven't really got a clue. Um, and she was just saying things like, this is that, but a bit bigger or a bit smaller. And, and it's kind of nice and it's really humble and, and down to earth. And I think anyone that like, could watch it and go, oh, Really relatable and yeah. kind of girl, girl next story. Yeah. So do you know what? They were all terrific. But if you had to pick one that stands out to you, Jim. OK, I have to pick one of them. I'm going to go for this one here. OK. OK. OK, so thank you so much, Jim. You're welcome, ladies. You can have a little chat to the ladies now. Guys, you were all honestly spectacular. And it's, it's, I wouldn't even be very good at doing that sort of thing without any editing or anything. All of you blew me away. Like, truly, it was incredible. I don't envy these girls uh, to now have to pick because all of you were absolutely spectacular, so well done. So, one of you, I'm going to announce the winner, but before we do that, I'm going to let Jim go off. Thank you very much. Lovely to see Thanks you. Thanks for your help, Bob. Bye. 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 So, all of you were brilliant, but one of you we felt was exceptional. Um, so, the winner of today's task is... Rapinda. The reason you won was because not only did you put loads of personality into it, you had so much product knowledge, um, and we thought that you were really, really very watchable. Yeah, you covered so well every done. single ground with everything. So did everyone else. Don't be downhearted because you all did amazingly and there is massive futures for you all. Pixie Woo picking me as the challenge winner was just unbelievable. I had butterflies in my stomach and I couldn't believe that it was actually me. So tonight, guys, get some sleep because we've got some really big stuff going on for you for the rest of the week. And guys at home, we hope you're enjoying this. We're gonna be here every night with a new video, so make sure that you stay tuned. If you're enjoying this, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Today, we've got a makeup challenge for you. So as well as the makeup look that you're doing on yourself, you're gonna to have to create the perfect thumbnail image to go with it. For the first time in beauty bootcamp history, we've got a draw. Well done, guys. You all did really well, and I think, because uh, it's a first challenge, we've kind of gone really easy on you, and we haven't picked a specific winner. But just to let you know, you were all absolutely brilliant. <laughs>